Welcome back, survivors. At the start of Season 6, we introduced a brand new map for you to drop into. Now we're bringing you a whole new way to play with PUBG's new arcade mode. The first game type to debut in this mode is the much demanded Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch makes its long anticipated debut in PUBG, allowing players to finally take each other on in an all out frag fest to see which team comes out on top. The classic FPS game mode is now available with seven battlefields pulled from your favorite maps. Erangel Stalber and Sosnovka Military Base, Sanok's Paradise Resort and Docks, Vikendi's Podvosto and Peshkova, and Miramar's Campo Militar are the first maps that will be available for selection with more on the way in the future. Unlike the typical Battle Royale mode, in Team Deathmatch, you respawn shortly after being defeated. When you return to the battle, you will be momentarily invincible and placed close to teammates, but away from enemies as much as possible. Players choose from preloaded weapons kits that can be changed at any time by accessing the map screen. But keep in mind the change will not take effect until your next respawn or the start of the next round. Another feature in Update 6.2 is the Parachute Follow option. Tired of trying to figure out where to meet your squad during your drop? You can now select the Follow function to let your squad leader guide you to the ground. Use your extra free time to scout around for enemies landing with you, or just take in the sights. Karakin is also getting another small spawn and loot adjustment, seeing an increase in first aid kits and boost items, and a decrease in DMRs, SRs, and the Win-94. For all you missing your favorite Vikendi guns though, the G36C and MP5K will now spawn on Karakin. That care package plane is also going to move a bit faster. Next up, after lots of player feedback, we've done a minor adjustment to throwables. There's quite a bit to go over here, but the biggest change is that frag grenades weigh 50% more, and their damage is now mitigated by vests. Each grenade type receives some changes, so check out the patch notes to see them all. In addition to everything else, we've tweaked the blue zone effects to make it easier to see through while giving you better information, updated blood effect visibility, and have implemented an adjustment that should help the right peak issue we talked about earlier this month. Be sure to check out the patch notes for full details. Update 6.2 has landed, so squat up and get your frag on. 